I just added clubhead speed to three of my students' golf games. They're all experienced golfers, and my guess is one of them is just like you, and we can add some clubhead speed to your game as well. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cove, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And one of the fun things is the obviously working with different people. And anytime you give a golf lesson, you think of something that might help other people. So I want to share with you what I told Daryl, what I told Dennis, and what I told Tim that helped them increase their club head speed. So let's dive right into it. So first of all, Daryl, over 50 years old, loves the game of golf, a bigger guy, strong guy, all right, but is really struggling with creating some more club head speed, all right? So here's what I told him. When I looked at Daryl's swing, he has a really good setup and stuff like that, but his swing is really short, okay? The swing is short, there's not much length to it. Now part of that is, is because he's lost some flexibility, might be you, or you, have you lost some flexibility? And you see your swing getting shorter when you look at it, but he's also just kind of a bigger guy, a strong guy, right? And what I was telling him is, is that, as your swing moves around your body and gets too flat, it's very difficult to get much length in the swing. So what I told him was I said, hey, let's work on the lead arm direction. All right, this is one of the core concepts of the vertical line swing. You've probably seen it. But we worked on lead arm swing. So I said, all right, here's what I want you to do, Daryl. When you swing the club back, I want you to feel like the swing works more up. All right, so instead of it working low and around, I want it to work straight back and I want it to work up. So let me just go ahead and hit it. Let me hit two shots, all right? And then we're going to talk a little bit about how you can get in that position because if you're lacking club head speed and your swing is really short, this is for you. All right, so here we go. His swing looked more like this it was low, short, and around. Okay? Now, all we did is we just said, all right, when you're set in there, I want you to feel like that lead arm works more straight back and works up. All right, because if we want to get some length to the swing, we've got to work on the lead arm direction, which is going to give us more distance. So now I'm going to go more straight back, more up. Okay, and you can see I certainly hit that more solid, but more importantly, I add some length to my swing. So what I want you to take away from that, the lesson that I just gave right there with Daryl, is that the lead arm direction can impact the length of your swing. If you're not hitting the golf ball a long ways, it could be just simply because your swing is too short. All right, now let's talk about the next lesson that I gave, okay? The next lesson that I gave was to Dennis. Now, and then we're gonna talk about Tim here in a second, okay? With Dennis, now he's a little bit older, okay? A little bit older golf, I don't know his exact age, but um, his pivot wasn't where it needs to be. His length of swing was good, but his pivot and his loading was not correct. So a swing looked like this. Now, if you've ever been told that you sway off the golf ball, pay attention, all right? Because this is gonna be for you. So when he was set in here, he's been working with us for a while. He's got a great setup and a great swing, but when he took it to the top, if you look closely, the weight went to the outside of his trail foot. So for me, that's my right foot. So as he swung the club back, it worked to the outside of his foot. Now. When you think of anything that we do in life, okay, we would never do it from the outside of the foot. Because you would, I mean, well, you twist your ankle for one, right? And so when we load into the trail side, we talk a lot about this in the vertical line swing and, and all those types of stuff. And matter of fact, we go deep into this uh, in the lost chapter of the book, The Bad Lie. Hopefully you've seen The Bad Lie. Just be curious, leave it in the comments. Have you read the book? Do you like the book? You know, and of course, where are you from, right? We love hearing that. But Nick and I decided after we launched the book, there was something missing. Something was missing and it was on club head speed. So we added this new chapter, we call it the lost chapter. You can check it out and uh, we go deep into this. But back to Dennis. So I wanted to teach him how to load properly in his trail foot. So I wanted his swing, instead of, watch the trail foot, instead of looking like this, I wanted it to look more like this, all right? So the drill that I gave him was I simply just said, all right, let's put your feet together, Dennis, and as you swing your arms and club back away from the target, I just want you to step to the right. So really simple. So I'm set up, I just step, and then through. All right, let me do it one more time. And it's right here, just step, Okay, and then through. So instinctively, as we walk and as we step, you would never step and go to the outside of your foot intentionally. So by just having us step to the right, instinctively the weight stayed more on the inside of his right foot. What happened? 
he had that great backswing already in place, but because he loaded properly, he came through the golf ball better and we increased his club head speed. All right, now, the third lesson that I gave this week here was with Tim. And uh, Tim might be like you. Man, he, he loves golf. And uh, he loves golf, doesn't he, Nick? Huh? Does the guy love? Yeah, he does. See, Nick gave me the thumbs up. This guy loves golf. And he has made some tremendous progress. Now, I don't know if you're like Tim, I don't know if you're like Daryl, I don't know if you're like Dennis, but the point is, is you want more club head speed. So let me go ahead and tee a golf ball up here with, and because I'm going to hit a couple drives here because we did this with the driver. Now, in Tim's situation, okay, he didn't have this really low short backswing. He didn't need length to his swing. He already had that. He was already loading properly into his trail foot. The club was in a beautiful spot. He's hitting the golf ball in the center of the face. He's doing all the right stuff, but it's just not going as long as he wants it to. So I said, all right, well, here's what we got to do. We've got to train the body to learn how to move faster because your setup is good, your backswing is good, you're hitting the ball in the center of the face. All these other things that we've been working on to get him where he needs to be is right where we want him. So let's add some speed to it, right? So here's what we did. We call this the counter backswing sequence. And it's, it's quite frankly, at the heart of the lost chapter that I referenced earlier. You want to check that out because we dive deep into this. But so here it is. So all I did is I said, all right, I want you to take your regular setup, Tim. And what I want you to do is put the club in front like this. Everybody see how I did that? And then from here, you're just going to load it and swing it. Okay, so let me do it again. So I'm just set up, put the club in front, let it swing and go, all right? Now, let me go ahead and hit a shot. Now, you can actually even do this drill with a ball, okay? All right, and hit a shot with your driver. It's a, it's a little challenging. So Nick's kind of laughing over there like, uh-oh, he better hit this solid or I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do. So here we go. Put the club in front, back. Oh, Nick, you don't have to edit that one, my friend. Okay, because when the club is in front like this, it creates momentum it creates speed so that the backswing can naturally move quicker. So if you're hitting the ball in the center of the face, if you've got good length to your swing, if you're loading correctly, you're doing all the things correctly, but you're just not hitting it as long as you want to, you got to train the body to just move quicker. Three different people, three different ways to increase club head speed. I hope that you found one of these people maybe relates to you, one of these students relates to you, and I hope the tips right here can help you play some better golf, and more importantly, maybe even get a little more club head speed. If you found that helpful and you want to learn how I added 20 yards to Claire's drives without changing her swing by simply just a minor adjustment to her setup, check out this video.